Hello everyone, my name is Elias Hassanze and today we want to discuss about a type of network switch. I know some of you guys are a little bit confused or most of you are not confused if you are a network engineer, if you are working as a network admin or you just jump to the network industry. First of all, I welcome th those who just jumped to the network industry. In general, we have a two types of network switch. How many types of network switch we have? We have a two types of network switch. One is a manageable switch, another is an unmanageable switch. The reason which I put these two manageable switch and unmanageable switch to to make sure before you purchase a switch, at least you need to know that which kind of switch you supposed to purchase for your company. But it depends on your network and network and for a structure and depend how you design your network because most of most of an advanced network topology required manageable switch but for small and such as grocery stores so on you don't need to purchase a manageable switch because the price does matter because this one has a smarter and intelligent rather than unmanageable switch so let me show you unmanageable switch in here I have an example of unmanageable switch. For example, this one is an unmanageable switch. How we can, how we can know which one is manageable and which one is unmanageable? By simply looking the back or front of the switch, you will see that the ports are, for example, one, two, three, four, up to eight, and there isn't any console port. No serial port, no console port. It's only with the AC power, and this is an unmanageable switch. I mean, you can buy it for. Uh, I don't know the price to be honest but it's unmanageable so it's, you can use it for any purpose for the network and at the meanwhile let me show you another unmanageable switch so this one seems thick but this is not manageable switch as well because see if you remember I told you there isn't anything um, actually it's not a switch it's a modem I'm sorry but you can pretend that there's a switch as well because uh, how I recognize by simply in here it's internet and it's SD1 DMZ and internet so th this one is a router forget it I'm sorry that's my bad <laughs> well if we come to the manageable switch if we come to the manageable switch we have a two types of manageable switch see yeah being a network engineer is not easy sir <laughs> Yeah, manageable switch is divided in two category, modular switch and modular switch. But first of all, let me clear what's manageable switch. For example, I even forget to pretend, but this is the real manageable switch. So with, uh, with real manageable switch, you will see the console port in here, if you can see the console port. So this console port, it shows that this is a manageable switch. I mean, you can manage, you get inside the switch and you can configure whatever is layer two or layer two protocols for such as VTP, STP, spanning tree protocol, so on and so forth, like port security, anything related to MAC filtering, anything you want to do that's led to a layer 3 protocol. But this is called a, this is called non-modular switch. Non this is uh, I can see this one is a modular switch as well. Guess how? Because there's a slot. Modular switch is like you need to put a new slot for example if you want to extend the number of interface so you will purchase the external interface then you plug it in then it works as a uh, as interface so let me i don't have an um, i don't have a modular switch to be honest i don't have a modular switch but i have a modular router i want to show you the modular router here's the modular router Here's the modular router, for example, these are a slot, slot 1, slot 2, slot 3. For example, we have right now fast giga interface 0 slash 0, giga interface 0 slash 1. But you need more interface, for example, for BGP configuration or OSPF configuration for enter routing protocol or whatever. In any, it depends on network, it depends on your network uh, topology or infrastructure. This is called modular and modular. This is called a modular switch. This is called a medial pretend this is a switch because you can add and remove the slot in here and the interface configuration will be different for example 
well the manageable switch is clear right so manageable switch is divided into category modular switch and modular switch modular switch is a kind of switch which you purchase a slot and put it and you can extend the number of interface if you want unmanaged uh, unmodular switch your non modular switch is a kind of switch which i already shown with you uh, with already showed for you guys was um, there is no any spot for replacing the part uh, that is unmanageable switch and the terms of managing management to manage the switch we have a two layers of switch for example nowadays very popular I mean MLS is a multi-layer switch which like T protocol same as a router the same as a router because router is also layer 3 protocol so if you jump to the management switch if you have planned to purchase a management switch first of all you need to know do you need a modular switch or an modular switch because if you want to extend your project and you need you know that the project is going on and there most more client more customer and more network devices coming and you have like oh, okay I need an external interface as well so for that you I prefer you to go to modular switch in order to extend more interfaces if not you don't have to just purchase non modular switch then you're good once you finalize with the modular and non modular you, you need to know which kind of la which line of protocol do you really need in in the Cisco switch or whatever switch you have because we have a manageable switch right now I have another manageable switch in here it's a Dell switch but it's, it's going to take a time but let me show you the hardware of this is the hardware of mm, this is the hardware of manageable switch so see it's a lot man capstar AC BIOS battery fan a lot most of the time I have remembered <laughs> let me share it with you most of the time the issues with the fan you can easily replace it and you can purchase from extensive with easy you pur uh, purchase and replace it you don't have to replace the switch fan is very easy let's keep as a tip and um, I think I have covered the types of switch and in general we have a two types of management switch and management switch and management switch we have a modular and non-modular switch and in modular and non-modular switch we have a two types of uh, um, or I can say network or network switch which layer 2 and layer 3 layer 2 is based on MAC address layer 3 is based on IP address so yeah the more protocol is involved the more uh, restriction will be but uh, I'm done I hope you uh, the video was helpful if you really like this video don't forget to like and comment uh, um, what I uh, suggest you uh, my friend and family who is watching my video if you have any question related to network and network security even uh, network monitoring system just type and comment down below and I will try my best to make a video for uh, that particular subject which you are asking on the future I will try to I will try my best to uh, prepare a best video this is my first video forgive me if anything is messed up or even I'm under pressure of the <laughs> camera as well but that's all what I have today the good thing is my all videos on board you pretend that you are in the class like Asian time I love the Asian time because sometimes it is on the, the chapter wise but I love Asian time because someone is telling me yeah here's the manageable switch here's the unmanageable switch here's the firewall here's the checkpoint firewall here's a lot of so, so on and so forth thank you for watching my video and I see you next time